Why is ROAS not the right metric for e-commerce brands to be looking at? Yeah, this, this, maybe this will be a little controversial. Um, I mean, I'm a marketer. I owned an agency for 11 years. Um, and I feel like all the marketers I know and all the agencies I know, they're, they tend to report on ROAS. And it's a convenient metric because it is fully within the control of the marketer to report on. Um, but the issue with ROAS is that it speaks to top line results, which is revenue. And that's only a part of the story. And I think particularly at a time like now when we're in a lot of economic uncertainty, there's a lot of pressure on brands. We cannot just report on top line metrics. We really have to be focused on not just growth, but profitable growth. And to do that, you I'm not saying don't look at ROAS, but I'm saying look at ROAS, but also you have to look at net margin contribution. You need to know how the sales of your product and how your advertising driven sales are contributing to bottom line metrics.